Vision is behind the making of runners. Praise the Lord. You're welcome to Monday, the 25th of May, 2020. We serve a mighty, faithful, awesome God, and we thank God for His mercies. Our Seat of Destiny today is titled, Distinction by Wisdom and Purpose. The Bible says, Who is as the wise man, and who knoweth? the interpretation of a thing. A man's wisdom maketh his face to shine, and the boldness of his face shall be changed. Ecclesiastes chapter 8 verse 1. Thought for the day. To be wise is to rise, and to rise is to shine. It is clear from scriptures that the way of wisdom is the way of stardom. To be wise is to rise and to rise is to shine. The wisdom of God is behind the making of kingdom stars. Joseph was a man of wisdom who was established in stardom in the land of Egypt. This same wisdom made Daniel a star in the land of Babylon. Now, one way of reaching the place of stardom is knowing your purpose for living. The knowledge of purpose is pathway to distinction. God began to tell Jeremiah his purpose on the earth in Jeremiah chapter 1 verse 5. The purpose was made clear to Jeremiah and the knowledge of that purpose made him to stand out in his world. Please take note of the following. Number one, the way of purpose is the way of destiny, is the way of distinction. Anyone who knows his purpose and follows that purpose can never end a destitute in life. Daniel chapter 1 verse 8. Secondly, to follow the way of purpose is to end in the place of prominence. Proverbs chapter 22 verse 29. A man who is diligent in his business and life's assignment shall stand before great men. He shall not stand before ordinary people. Number three, life's assignment is key to life's enhancement and upliftment. The assignment of your life is what will produce the enhancement and uplifting of your life. This was seen in the life of Joshua in Genesis chapter 41 verse 36 to 44. Our counsel is, he asked God to clearly reveal to you the purpose of your life, Habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1, and pursue your life's purpose with everything that you have got. Praise the Lord. Habakkuk 2 2 to 3. Remember this, to be wise is to rise and to rise is to shine. Praise the Lord. What's our assignment today? Number one, ask God at the place of prayer to reveal your purpose for living to you. And number two, if you have discovered your purpose, to go ahead and fulfill that purpose on time. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Say after me, O oh Lord, I ask for the wisdom to know my purpose for living and to carry it out without delay. O oh Lord, in Jesus' name, praise the Lord. I'm happy, I'm excited, and I believe that God is set for your lifting and for your blessing in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise God. You'd like to be born again. That is the beginning of knowing your purpose. Your fundamental purpose in life is to be a child of God. And you want to pray with me today and I'll be happy to do that. Simply pray this after me. Say, Lord Jesus, thank you for dying for my sins. I know I am a sinner. I need your help. Jesus, please come into my life. Be the Lord of my life. Wash away all my sins. Make me a new person. From today, I turn my back on sin. I will live to please the Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Praise the Lord. Congratulations. The Lord bless you. Have a wonderful day. In Jesus' name.
a place of revival. It is a place of His presence. It is a place to receive God's own principles. It is a place. 